Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the skill administration of intradermal injections. I'm in the appropriate school attire. I am wearing shoes. My badge is visible. No polish, no quilt, no jewelry. To start the skull off, I will gather my supplies. First, I have my medication vial, a pair of gloves, a gloss pad, and two alcohol wipes. Next is my syringe and needle. Now, for this skill video, we need to use a 29 or 30 gauge half inch needle with a one millimeter syringe. Due to supplies I was given, I would be using this one. Okay, my supplies are ready to go. Next, I will verify the six rights of medic medication um, administration. It is right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. After that, we'll check the medication ordered in the EHR and verify that against the MAR, and you do that three times before giving medication to a patient, so this can be a one out of three times. The medication ordered is tuberculin purified protein derivative. Um, it is 0 for 1 milliliters. And uh, what I have on hand is 5 tuberculin units per 0 0.1 milliliters. So again, um, a patient will receive one dose of 0 0.1 milliliters. <coughs> um, all right, I will gather my supplies and head to my patient's room. I will knock, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy to avoid any HIPAA violations. I will then set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface and introduce myself to the patient. Hand hygiene. Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth? As I verify with the reverse scan, and this will count as my two-patient identifier. All right, that is correct. Um, do you have any allergies that I need to be made aware of? No allergies. And now that I have laid lies on my patient, I would verify my medication against the MAR two times, so two out of three. Excuse me, that would be my second time, two out of three. All right, Mrs. Smith, well, as, um, as you can see here, I have some um, stuff for an injection. Your um, physician ordered you to have a PPT test done. And that's commonly what is known as a PPT, but the um, name of the medication is tuberculin purified protein derivative. And um, the mechanism of action is that it causes a delayed hypersensitivity uh, lymphocyte reaction. And what um, the use of the medication is that it's a skin test. We would um, inject uh, medication just under that top layer of skin here on your forearm to diagnose whether you've been exposed to tuberculosis or if you have it. And then after about 72 hours, um, we will uh, assess the site. So com common side effects that uh, go along with this medication is that uh, there can typically be some bleeding at the site, maybe for just a couple seconds, or any itching or swelling. Do not rub it or itch it. Um, as those can be common, you just don't want to irritate the site. Now, any adverse reactions would be shortness of breath, fever, or um, a rash anywhere on your face, your arm, all over your body, anything like that. Any adverse reactions like that, we do need to be made aware of immediately, and I will contact the physician. Okay? Do you have any questions for me? No? No questions. Okay. This would be my third time uh, verifying the medication against the MAR. All right. I also want to let you know, Mrs. Smith, hand hygiene, that upon um, injection of the medication, it is unfortunately common that you might feel some stinging or burning at the site. I just want to make you aware of that. All right. So again, the needle and syringe I'll be using is 29 to 30 uh, gauge half inch needle, one milliliter syringe. To start the preparation off, I will remove it. Obviously, this has been used for practice purposes. Dispose of this. I'll then hold it like a pencil, needle up, cap on. And I will draw in 0 0.1 milliliters of air. Well, it's kind of hard to see. OK. I will then clean the top of my medication vial here with the alcohol swab and dispose of this in the trash. I will then remove the cap, inject, inject the air, invert, and draw the solution to the desired amount of 0 0.1 milliliters. When um, drawn up solution, Sometimes air bubbles can um, be in the syringe. I either need to tap it 
to remove them, or sometimes uh, you have to inject the solution all the way back up and then withdraw again. There are no air bubbles present. And it's at 0 0.1 milliliters. Okay. Well, after uh, removing the needle from the solution, I need to recap it using the swoop method. Just like that, and then come on the sides here and close a little bit back down. All right, my medication is ready to go. Again, at 0 0.1 milliliters. Yep, there you go. All right, I'm going to move to the side since I'm finished with that. All right, next, I'm going to select the appropriate size for um, an intradermal injection. Typically, you would use either forearm. If that's not the case, you can use the upper back area. The proper location, I'm going to show you on my arm since, obviously, this is not an arm. Um, typically, it would be three or four inches below the antecubital space here. And then it would be hand, one hand space up above the wrist, so right in the middle of the arm here, which would be right here in my patient. After selecting the site, I would clean this, or excuse me, I would assess the site, make sure there aren't any lesions or any discoloration. I would gently palpate to assess for any tenderness. This site is, um, is acceptable for use. Then I would get an alcohol wipe and clean the site. When cleaning the site, um, I would start at the center and work my way out at about two inches. So starting at the center, clean outward about two inches. Okay, let that air dry. Now once I have cleaned the site, I do not want to touch it. Um, it is air dried. So when injecting the needle, I want to use these two fingers and um, hold the needle as so. I will remove the cap like that. I need to ensure that the bevel part of this, the needle here is pointing upward upon injection. Okay. I will then get my thumb, hold the skin to pull um, or to stretch the skin slightly. I will inject the needle at a 5 to 15 degree angle. I need to feel resistance, and I do. I will then advance the um, needle through the epidermis about 1 eighth of an inch, and then slowly inject. All right, I do see a small bleb, uh, about six to 10 milliliters in size, resembling a mosquito bite. All right, I will grab my gauze pad here. As I withdraw the needle, I will gently apply the gauze pad on top, dispose of my needle in the sharps container immediately. Okay, well, after, or excuse me, while applying the gauze pad on top, I do not want to press, scratch, or massage, anything like that that could irritate the solution under the skin. I just gently put it on top, assess if there's any bleeding. There is none, so there's no need for a band-aid. I will gather my supplies, dispose of them in the trash, and then ensure my patient is comfortable. All right, Mrs. Smith, is everything okay? Are you comfortable? My patient states she is comfortable. She has her crawl light and her bed is in appropriate position. I'm going to remove my gloves, dispose of them in my trash, hand hygiene, and go document my results.